Hi everybody, Camille from Butternut Soul Company here. I started the video, I had to stop it because I realized I was making my two pound batch for a four pound mold. Duh! Okay, so I put a divider because my other two pound mold's in use. I put a divider in my four pound mold and let's just cross our fingers and hope that, look how sweaty my hands are in these gloves. It's just nasty. Yeah, I will just hope that it doesn't run underneath. It better not. That's all I can say. So I just strained my lye solution with some sodium lactate in it into my oils and I blended it a bit. I think it's pretty much ready. Yeah, that's ready because I want a fairly light trace. Now this is the fruit smoothie soap that I made before using the high temp fluid hog process method. Ooh, I need to add my clay. And it worked really well the first two times. And the very last time I made it, I cooked off my fragrance. It was too hot. And I totally cooked off my fragrance. So I decided that's it. I'm going to just cold process this one. Because at least I just know I'm not going to lose my scent this way. It'd be different if it was like a one color, one fragrance batch. But when you're messing around with four colors and four different scents blended in, yeah, you kind of just don't want to take any risks. Because someone's waiting for this soap on a wholesale order. Look at that thickening up. So I got to get this made and ready to go. <laughs> And I'm soaping a little warmer than usual. I usually soap at room temperature. Today I'm soaping at about uh, 100, between 106 and 110 degrees. My lye and my water were about six degrees apart. So we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen here with, um, you know, to see how quickly it thickens up. Because like I said, when I see pee, I usually see pee at room temperature. I just do. You know what? I need to. Oh, should I add my fragrance? I will. But I only have to add half of it. Look at this. It's getting thick. I only have to add half. Because it's a small batch. You know, I'm so glad I didn't go right off the beam and keep working because otherwise I would have poured all of this into this and just gone on my merry way. My merry duh way. Okay, so about half. That's half. Oh, that smells so good, though. It's going to be interesting to see how this behaves, considering I've never done anything but hot process this one. <laughs> but I just I don't know there's something very comforting about using a method that this is the method I started with and this will always be my preferred method of salt making <laughs> that's just me banging to get air bubbles up Okay, I think we're pretty good here. Okay. So I got my colors ready in some separate containers. And I just used some of the batch oil to disperse my mica. And I used Shimmer Green from Candora, Hollywood Pink from Nurture, Do Laser Lemon from Candora, and... What else? Am I missing something? Green, yellow, and pink. No, that's it. What? Why do I feel like I'm... Oh, that's why I feel like that. You guys, what kind of a day am I having here? This is absolutely insane. I need to quickly, quickly, quickly mix up some orange to go in there. 
dope. Oh man, what kind of a day is this? It's that kind. That's what kind. But you know what? Those days happen. So I'll just. I don't like this container. I like this container. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have to add a little bit of oil to this. I don't think I want that much. Well, actually, yeah, it's probably perfect. And I'm going to take a little bit of sweet almond oil, which I have in there, but just a little bit enough to disperse that colorant. Boy, I tell you, some days. But, hey, they can't always be smooth, right? Look at that. I'm stirring, but I'm going down because I know that's just sitting there thickening up on me. What I'd really love to get is one of those tiny, tiny little stick blenders for my colorants. Those are not only just super cute, but yeah, effective. And I would like effective. This works, but yeah, I would really love that little tiny, tiny little blender. So today I'm doing this one cold process. Tomorrow I gotta do Mystic Woods again. Again. There's something. Oh, look at that. Look how that thickened up. Okay, Mama, you better hustle. So hustle I shall. Okay, let's get some in here. Pink. Some yellow. And they're all going to be pretty much even, the colors. And some green. And I think that's about good. Maybe a little bit more of that. A little tiny bit more yellow. Look how thick that's getting. See, this is why I soak at room temperature. You get so much more time to play. Okay, well, there's also the fact that, you know, you usually have your colorants pre-mixed and you usually have the right mold out. <laughs> okay, but you know what? I'll just tell my soap work with me here and it will. It'll work with me. Okay, so I need to add some orange to this, not too much. And I'm probably gonna end up adding some titanium dioxide just like I do every time I make this soap. Because even though I just add the soft color, that titanium dioxide just I don't know. It takes that light orange, but it gives it a more creamy color. Yeah, you can see I'm hand blending this because if I stick blend this right now, it's going to turn into cement. I hope you can see. See, that's a beautiful orange, but it ain't right. So, just some titanium dioxide there. That's just dispersed in water. I did do a water discount on this soap. I always do when I do CP. So I use 33% water instead of 38. There's a beautiful creamy orange. Is that not? I don't know if you can truly see it. Beautiful creamy orange. And that's exactly the color I'm going for since it's a fruit smoothie soap, right? Fruit smoothie has such creamy colors. Now, let's mix up our, what do we got here? It's on the bottom, I can't even tell. Can you see? There you can see. If I pull it towards myself, I'm so used to moving it ahead. we got pink here. And I think I've said it before, I love this Hollywood pink mica. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's just, you can get such a vibrant pink and you can get the most beautiful soft pinks out of it. It's just a really great pink. Okay, a little, see, it's a beautiful pink, but to me, this, again, needs that little touch, little touch of titanium dioxide, just to give it that creaminess. Because we like, look at this, I'm completely out of view. But I'll tip it so you can see. 
and I want to make sure this is really mixed up because I don't want any streaks coming up from the bottom at the end. So there we go. Beautiful creamy pink. Okay, and I'm going to leave this spatula in here because orange and pink I can kind of use the same spatula. It's not really going to stand out. Now I'm going to do my green. And this always, I always add too much and I always have to add titanium dioxide. And I always think I'm holding back, but apparently not. Because look at that, there's nothing creamy about that. I mean, it's a little creamy, but it's too vibrant. It's just too vibrant for this soap. So, and we go with a little more. That one I'm using a bit more titanium dioxide than the others because I really want to lighten this up a bit here. Even that, I'm not even sure that's light enough for me. It's pretty close. What do you think? That's pretty light. Yes, I think I can live with this. This looks exactly, see I have an original bar in front of me so I can just, I always do that. I keep the original bar in front of me so I can do a quick reference and look at it and go, oh, is that the same one? And yes, that one is. And the original one, hanger squirrel, look at that, look how that's thickening up. And this yellow. Again, I love laser lemon mica. I probably say it every time I use it, but that just goes to show how much I love this mica. Now, I just need this to get in the mold, and I need to do a quick hanger swirl with it. This is probably going to be the shortest video I ever made at last, huh? <laughs> you know what? That's so pretty. But I still want it creamy, so I'm adding some white. Shaky hands. Okay, let's get this in here real quick. You know what? I think I may need even a little more of that. Um, no, no. There, is that not creamy? It's creamy, but I fear I may have lost my yellow. But when I hold it up against that, no, it's the lighting in here right now. It's tricking my eyes. Okay, so let's get the mold. And you know what? It kind of worked out good that my stuff thickened because now I'm sure, like for sure, it's not going to run under there. So first things first green oh I love cold process I really love it cold process is my happy place I'm really getting sick of these gloves though my hands are sweating like crazy in them I wish there was such a thing as a sweat-free glove. Okay, leave a little bit in there. Next to go in will be, I think, yellow and then pink. Okay, I'm sorry if I block your view here. I'm not purposely blocking your view. I just am not good at contortioning myself into backwards pouring. I'm more likely to have a mishap if I try that. Okay, save some of the yellow. Ooh. Then I'm going to go pink. And I'm going to sort of put that right in the middle. Look how thick that is. It's kind of a blessing though right now. It really is for the simple fact that it is not going to go over my divider. Or under it, I mean, because I made those to do, um, oh, what was I making? I don't remember what I was making. Some kind of a swirl, but I needed it to be divided. 
I don't remember exactly. But as I poured, I was struggling to hold those things, like press them down because the soap was running out from underneath it. And I was panicking and suffice it to say, I did not get my swirl. Did not. Okay. Forgive the bang, but I have to bang this. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Well, you got to say hi to me. But there we go. We got you in there. And then we're going to do the last bit of green. And you know what? As much as I love glitter, and this soap has glitter on it, so I've put it on it. I will say, glitter sure can be a pain. It really can. It gets everywhere. Like I find, especially when I'm packaging soaps, I'm finding glitter on everything after I've packaged a glitter soap. Like a soap with glitter on it. So green, do some yellow on this side. This is going to be exactly enough, I think. I think I've put that divider in the exact right place. Because there was always some extra, right? Like when I made this recipe, I made it, I always make it so that I have some extra to pour into my five ounce molds. And that way I have a bar for myself or a bar to give to somebody. You know, just one to give away. trying to get every last bit out of here so I accounted for that when I moved my divider there and I'm really glad I did okay I'm not gonna bang it just yet I'm gonna go pink hello pink oh that pink you know it, it is absolutely perfect for this soap every time I see the orange and the pink I just go mmm fruit smoothie and with the smell because it's scented with banana, strawberry, watermelon, and sweet orange essential oil. But that pink is just so smoothie. It just is. It's what it should be. And that makes me happy when it's what it should be. Just like that green is so mellow. It's just the perfect thing. Do -do, do -do -da. And the last little bit's going to be orange. So let's get the orange in here. Look how, you know, it's thick and pudding -y. Perfect. This actually works. Like, I don't know how my squirrel's going to turn out. But I can't imagine that it's going to turn out real bad. Uh, okay, I better bang it down before I put this last little... Last... No. Look, there's so little in here. There's no point. I'll bang it as soon as I get this in here. And you're going to go there. There, everything's scraped out, ready to rock and roll. Okay, I'm sorry. It's going to bang. You're probably going to get some in the face. I should have done my hair. <laughs> okay, let's hope there's no air bubbles in there. Icky, nasty air bubbles. A few more bangs. Just because. Ooh, don't tip over. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got them. And I want to get this in and out as soon as possible. Okay, so I started in the... No, I started on the last one. Sorry. Talk, oh, that is getting thick quick. I better hustle. Okay. See, it's even hard to push. Okay, and now I'm going to go whoop over to the side and do it some more. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That is getting thick. I was I worked in the nick of time. This was so to the wire, man. Literally, <laughs> down to the wire. Okay. Okay, you go in there. Mm, happy soap. Happy soul people's happy mama. And look at that. It held. Okay, so I just need a spatula now to sort of, I guess, smooth out the top. And then glitter it up. And I am going to spray this with alcohol and cover it. 
as soon as I turn the camera off because I have been having soda ash problems. So I do have to do that. I never used to get it. I do now all the time. Don't know. Don't know what's up with that. Because I never ever used to get it. Maybe I should use a spoon to do that. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like this. And I'm just going to go. Going to make it all smooshy and pretty. Oh, I like it. So creamy. So creamy and delicious. Oh, and those colors underneath are such happy colors. <clears throat> Gee, I feel like I just had another Bob Ross moment. And a happy little color over here. And a bit of really joyful orange over there. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, I like it. It's listen okay, see? It does not happen every time. Oh, I like it. And then I just don't quit. I think I need to do it the one like this, just one way and not do the whole pile up in the middle. It just doesn't work. I don't think it works. Not with this soap. So I will grab. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I did not realize my camera was up all that time. So I'm just going to put my glitter on. I feel so bad. We'll see. Maybe I won't even upload this video. If it turns out that you've been looking at my chin the whole time, I won't upload it, I promise. Okay, I think that should be good. It doesn't need a ton of glitter. Okay, yoink. And... There we have it. Fruit smoothie, the cold process way this time. <clears throat> so thanks for tuning in. I will upload the cutting video as soon as I have this puppy cut. So we will see you. Well, I guess you're going to see me pretty soon. I'll see you in about mm, 24 hours maybe. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you very soon.